hey, you actually managed to get out of that damn police station at a good time. What a rarity. Glad that you were able to navigate the club and find the private booth. It's much nicer than my house, isn't it? The club makes for a better atmosphere, and walking in, you can see some hotties dancing. And I feel a little more professional, like this booth is my lair. <laughs> God, I love having you as my partner. It means that we have a little alliance. You distract the police force from any of my doings, and hide me away like a little secret, and I reward you with some sweet cash in the night for being here and observing. Sometimes doing some crime. It's perfect. You have such long hours as a police officer. It's like they keep you as slaves of the law in there sometimes with the hours that you serve. Even sometimes doing nothing but drinking coffee. How pathetic. You make so much more money working a few days with me than a whole year working with them. God, why do you stay? No, oh, cover, right. It's a good cover, I will say. I've observed you a few times while you were on duty. You were very convincing. You usually get out of work like 10 or 11, but you manage it at 8, which is lovely. This gives us a few more hours for hits. Make sure that we don't get sloppy, and if you feel like it, we can go to our usual 2 a.m. Or you could go home and get a few more hours of sleep than you usually do, but I'm sure you, of all people, wouldn't want to go to sleep early when there are thousands of dollars of hits on the line, right? <laughs> I knew it. 2 a.m. it is, you little workaholic. Or money-holic. Whatever. So, how's the family? <laughs> hey! Just because we are partners in crime by night doesn't mean we can't be friends sometimes and talk about things that aren't hits or crimes. I'd like to know what you're buying with your split of the cash, you know. You got here early, so I thought we could have some chit-chat over champagne, but fine, if you want to get straight to it, then I suppose I can skip ahead to the juicy, bloody part and part that makes us rich in a week. I've got some hits for us tonight. As per usual, I'm sure you've heard me say that tens of times now. Hmm, it's been a few months, so ten sounds right. Anyway, we've got four to pick from that we need to do sometime tonight. It doesn't matter when, just getting them done sometime before 7 a.m. tomorrow. Eleven hours. Of course, I'll do anything that you can't stay awake for on my own. So, six hours with you by my side. So, getting to the hits, here's number one. Hit is Paris Evelyn, ordered by her lovely husband, Levi. Levi says she is a 27, quite skinny, small, and weak woman. Sounds good so far, like an easy one. Reason he wants the hit is repetitive cheating and too much work for a divorce. That's quite extreme, but his insanity helps us out financially. I'm sure you're not one to complain. The hit is 4.8 grand. Not the biggest hit, but it's alright for such an easy target. Probably average 20-30 minutes for the hit. Next, a bar owner, Hachi Yamada. The hit was ordered by a bartender working at the bar that Hachi owns. He refused to give his name for obvious reasons, so we call him bartender in the hit file, as you can see on the paper. Bartender said he was to be given the bar when the owner dies. Something with being close with the owner and managing to earn his trust enough to be written into the target's will after a few years of working for him. Which, I must say, is very skillful acting and patience. Something I strive to have. Hachi, the target, is an older man, 50, who commonly spends time in his office doing work and occasionally bartends with the bartender who posted the hit. We also know that Hachi sleeps in the back of the bar in a bedroom separate from his office. The bartender has very kindly sketched out a map of the bar. Here's the main area, and here is the back area. The bedroom is the one with the question mark, since bartender has never been in the bedroom or seen it. He doesn't think anybody has. This one averages an hour, give or take a little. He gave us a range from eight grand to 10 grand for the price, but we didn't allow the range. So we did some talking and we settled on 10 grand flat. Next one, third. Kid wants his grandma gone. I get it, but damn. 
Order is Kenny Whistler. Hit is Heidi Whistler, his grandma. 86 years old, frail, obviously. Lives alone with her two cats, and we got a sketch of her small cottage home from Kenny. We did get asked to take the cats to a shelter, and I'm all for that rather than leaving them, so I happily accepted. Accepted that part. <laughs> um... I've had to do this once before, so I do have a pet carrier that can hold two cats semi-comfortably. Now, we look like dickheads if we kill an old defenseless woman, but the payout for this one was originally seven grand, which we declined for morality's sake. We did decline it, but they almost doubled it up to 13.2 grand, so easy job, good payout, so we took it. Up to you if you decide you want to accompany me on this one or not. It's kind of a one-man job anyway, besides the collecting of cats. Because Lord knows they never want to go into a carrier. You making a list in your head of which ones you want to do first? Because we have one more. Lastly, number four. This one is a little bit of a drive, an hour, but it's kind of a Dexter killing. Community hated, uh, offender. Let's call him that, who the police are doing nothing about. A group of teenagers and adults ganged up, put a bowl of money together, and here we are with a hit. 44-year-old Alex Pickian is a registered offender who the community knows is reoffending, but the police are doing jack shit. We have his address, a rough schedule of his, and a rough description, but I doubt that we will need to use anything but the address because who in their right mind would live with an offender? This one has a smaller payout, 3.3 grand, but I took it on just because I hate police incompetence when a normal ass criminal such as myself can do a way better job handling the situation that makes everyone happy. Ugh, I love Dexter killings. Now that that's out of the way, which ones would you like to do, my criminal cop? You can look over the hit files again if need be. <laughs> Case files by day, hit files by night. One is a cheating wife, two is a bar owner and a greedy client, three is a kid sick of his senile grandma, and four an offender. Take your time, because this is a thing you're going to be doing for the next six hours. Hey guys, Scratch here. Uh, yeah, this one was cool. It's, yeah, I don't have much to say. Um, so if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I love interacting with comments. You made it this far, so why not subscribe? Uh, join the Discord. And yeah, bye bye.